G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here and Small Rig have reached out and said would you like to try the new Z9 cage on the new Z9? And as you can see, I, I don't know how it's, it's going to fit. This is a video cage more than a photography cage. You can use it for photography, but its weight and the way it's structured um, lends itself far more to the use for video. So we're going to open it and have a look. I love a puzzle. Well, we got there. It does come with a, a hex key, which fits nicely in here and is magnetized in. So it just sits in there and the screws together. There's two here, two here, two here, and two here. We are, we are secure now. We're looking at whether this will be a good L bracket option. So we'll put this on and see how it works. And we do that by lining up the top. This is the top. It's where your hot shoe goes, obviously. And I believe we slide it in here. So you lock the base plate in here. You then take your lock mechanism, pop it in there, take your little key. Now already this cage gives you the ability to hold it with your left hand as well as your right hand. Your right hand doesn't feel quite as ni nicely tucked in on the camera, but that's okay. You can still grab it adequately because you can wrap your fingers around the front. You see, because you now have this, which you wrapping around. You have a cold shoe mount here to complement your hot shoe mount on top of your camera. There are four quarter 20 threads here and a third eighth, which means you can mount a light or a, another configuration of a monitor perhaps, or even a microphone or both if you have the right accessories. Let's go this way. We have three quarter 20s and one three eighths and an M2.5. I don't know what an M2.5 is, but I'm sure someone watching this does. So put it in the comments below. What's an M2.5? M2 yeah. Okay. Then we go to the back on the bottom here in the corner is really cool. It's got a strap mount so we can put our toggles that we, our anchor points from quick peak design can stick here. Uh, it's got our lock mechanism. It's then got six surrounding quarter 20 threads around the mounting point, which holds the cage onto the camera. We have our tool here. And if we go to the final one, we've got three quarter 20s and a three eighths on this side. So basically you can mount this on anything and you can mount anything to it. That is the point of it. The whole thing weighs, that's right, so it's, it's fairly light, but once you put it on your camera, you can already feel some of the weight. And this feels like more of a permanent accessory, like an L bracket. It's not something you put on for one day and then take off. You could, but it'd be a bit of a pain in my opinion. Um, but it also gives you the ability to carry the camera like so and like so um, and you can mount it quite easily to a gimbal so you could stick this in your gimbal and put other things on your camera if you had one of the upper end heavier duty gimbals like I have the DJI Ronin RS2 which I think will be able to handle this you can still access your battery bay quite easily and efficiently you don't even have to dig in some of the L brackets you have to dig in and carry on and you're wondering what about the L aspect of it. I'll, I'll get there in just a tick. If you have a bit of a look around the front of this, you also have two quarter 20s here and you have another quarter 20 hiding away right in here. So you have mounting options galore. You are not going to exhaust them. I don't know how many are there, like 500? The list just keeps going and going and going. So I can mount here and I can mount here. And that means when I carry my camera, my camera will point down. And I really like it when my camera points down rather than this, because the only time I really ever carry it is when I've got a gigantic lens on and I want the lens to be hanging down. I don't want to be like a bing, like that's not 
not polite, is it? So hanging down is much better way to go. Um, you've got access to all your back controls, and if you want to vertically shoot, you see they've cut in here so you can easily vertical shoot and give access to all of that and that feels really really comfy but again you can mount this on a tripod so I can mount this on a tripod and then you're like all right hang on how do we do the other bit if you take a base plate a tripod base plate and I've got just anyone here you could probably have one where you could change the uh vertical as well as the horizontal placement of it which might be really handy but you're going to hold your camera with your right hand even if you're left-handed hold your camera with your right hand because that's where the trigger button is and you're going to support your camera by holding it underneath that's what you should do for photographers and so if we flip it around i choose the lowest quarter 20 tighten it off i've got a bit of a unit where i can stick it easily to mount it like this for a vertical shot or I can easily mount it like this for a horizontal shot and I'm happy and good to go. I've been shooting the Z9 for quite some time now, really getting into it and as I've done that, the weight has not bothered me. I thought the weight would be really cumbersome, um, but actually it's it's not too bad. So you need to pick and choose and what you think. If you're looking for a cage for the Z9 for anything video, Small Rick have done a wonderful job with this. Once you put it together, it's good to go. It feels robust. And if you ever, God forbid, drop your camera, <laughs> which... I know, we don't talk about that because you just don't do it. But if you did, um, most of the points, if, if your camera lands like this, it would hit the cage rather than the camera. And I reckon there's a bit of shock. There's a bit of movement in there. So I think it would absorb a lot of the shock. Uh, if you drop it on the back, you're cooked. And if you drop it on your lens, again, you're stuffed. And the other fascinating thing I find is sometimes you've got to put down your camera like every day. And if you put it down on this, watch what happens. It's the weight of the lens wants it to tip forward and it easily tips forward. It doesn't tip backwards, but I have a pretty light lens on. If you have a heavier lens, it will want to tip forward. So just be careful about putting the Z9 down anywhere. What would have been tops is if to somehow, um, I'm not sure how you do it. Maybe put another bar in here um, or perhaps tuck it around here some more so that it just has more of a base that you can rest it on like so. Um, that side, again, it cuts away. You can see it cuts away here and goes straight. So it's, it's a challenge about where to put the camera down if you want to put it down on a uh, flat surface. If checking your bag, that's fine, but a flat surface. So let me just talk about some learnings I've had of the Z9 cage from Small Rig over the last little while as I've had a bit of a play with it and then we'll go back to past Ralph. The magnetized tool underneath the cage that allows you to um, take off and put on the cage via the screws is very, very helpful. It fits in there. Uh, I haven't lost it yet. It hasn't bumped out or anything like that. So it's really, really helpful. There's a beveled edge around this thread, which is enormously helpful when you're doing it, starting to get it in, to screw it in, and also those last few moments of unscrewing, very, very helpful. Um, once you want to access your ISO, you have to dig your finger back into the camera. So dig it back into the camera in order to go either way, uh, whichever you'd like to do with it. So it'd be good if there was some sort of allowance just for that. And also the same is true for the exposure compensation. You can reach the record button quite easily. The mounting plate component to this uh, slides easily onto an Arca Swiss mount, although that's not primarily how you would use it. This is a video cage more than a photography cage. You can use it for photography, but its weight and the way it's structured um, lends itself far more to the use for video. And with a video, you would screw a plate onto the bottom but it does give you the opportunity here uh, that just slides in and out of an Arca Swiss mounting. You can quite easily and comfortably use it and it even gives you a bit of an extra grip on your left hand as you wrap your wrap your meat fingers around that. Um, so I hope these thoughts are, are really helpful. These real-time user thoughts are really helpful on your deliberations about whether you're going to buy the um, Nikon Z9 cage from Small Rig and let's go back to past Ralph now. But no, oh, it looks a bit rugged doesn't it? Oh, I consider myself kind of a rugged man. That is a rugged fit right there. I hope that's been helpful and a shout out to Small Rig for sending it to me. And you may have questions about this that you'd like to put in the comments below and I would love to answer them there. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, please do so. You can join the channel, hit the join button down there, join me in all the fun. And otherwise, after you give it the thumbs up, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.